All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Lots of action going on over at Moosehorn Falls. So as you can see here, um, getting the electrical set up and ready. So it looks like that right there, what you just saw up close, is where the tower will be located because that's the little box that's going to come up right underneath the tower. Over at Mindbuster, no uh, changes uh, that I can see as of yet. It looks exactly how it's been looking. So lots of work going on there. I bet you they're getting um, just waiting on you know the rails and wood to arrive, and then they'll start on that. As you can see here at Moosehorn Falls, Hartwell um, leaving, and uh, obviously construction equipment. I just wanted to show that it's pretty cool. Honestly, like watching Wonderland from above is like watching a little city. I always find it so fascinating. It's like watching a little Lego city um, operating. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. That's just how it looks to be. Um, heading on over to the front gate area, uh, the front gate stores coming along really nicely, uh, starting to get some of the roofing panels installed and over at the new kind of security checkpoint underneath Leviathan, uh, the concrete was poured. Um, for the queue lines and then um, you have your like little security post area and then you have your um, little ticket booth area um, it's either going to be a ticket booth area or uh, a quick security scan area and then the ticket the new ticket booths will be over by the old um, kind of man operated ticket booths over there so it could be one or the other um, but I'm still, uh, from what I'm understanding, the, the, the new kind of like boost that you'll go up to with your app will be at that kind of like third queue line that comes out. Um, outside of that, not too much else going on at Frontgate. Haven't seen the Canada's Wonderland logo come down or any of the turnstiles removed. Um, they did clear out the left side of the building. Um, so we'll definitely have to see what that is. And um, Hartwell has been in there a lot. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Um, but yeah, not, not too much else going on over here. It's definitely slowed down a little bit. They've put the little fence posts in. Nothing going on at Extreme Sky Flyer quite yet. Um, just them clearing out the uh, Winterfest uh, bar from this store over here. Doesn't mean anything, but again, sometimes I just find it really cool to watch them operating as a little city. Um, but yeah, no signs of the 2025 coaster on the outside of the mountain, but you will see surveying in this video, which again, if you watch the podcast yesterday is quite interesting. So definitely be keeping an eye on that. So as you can see here, the surveyor is surveying all around the area that the, in the renderings that the 2025 coaster, um, takes up. So it's, it's really interesting that they are still surveying. This isn't quite normal unless they've changed up some of the theming or they wanted, you know, uh, to change a little bit of the elements, they could have sent a new map to the company and was like, no, 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 go back to the drawing board for this specific section. Or we don't like what you presented to us, give us a little more. Um, but they should have sent enough of those, uh, those surveys uh, to the company that they didn't have to do this. So again, this is where it becomes very confusing about why surveying is going on. But again, that doesn't mean that this isn't for a different project. So you got to remember that just because we're seeing it in the same area that the coast is going to pick up. That doesn't mean that this isn't for um, a future development or the enhancement of the mountain. So again, if you watch the podcast, I talked about a specific um, loan that Canada's Wonderland has taken out. So this could be for the refurbishment of the mountain. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today um, for a construction update. Thanks so much for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the podcast yesterday. Um, feel free to join our Discord server and use the suggestion chat to give us suggestions for future episodes. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.